Good morning, everyone. I am Douglas E. Welch, and it is time again for cookie baking time here in the Welch household. We do a big party every year、uh, where I cook a bunch of cookies and invite friends in for an open house. And these are the supplies to get us started today. I'm sure we'll run out of something. We almost always do. If you'd like to see some of the recipes I use for my cookie baking, you can actually find them in two cookbooks that are online at bakespace.com. One is called "Sharing Christmas with Friends," and the other is called "I'm Making Cookies." And you'll find a,、uh, several of the recipes you've seen me make this year in those cookbooks. You can view them on the web or in the free iPad app, and the cookbook is free as well. There'll be links to everything in the description of this video and also in the associated blog post, so you can check them out there. Thanks again for watching this year of us baking cookies. Hope you see something that inspires you, and I hope you go out and make some sweet treats for your family. Okay, so one of the tricks of the trade that I always like to share with people is this little devil here. This、uh, we actually got—I don't know—got a garage sale or something. I don't know. Maybe it's a giveaway. Even this was a measuring cup for sticky and、uh, oily and otherwise un. Easily usable contents, for lack of a better word. This is peanut butter for the peanut butter cookies. The great thing is, is you pull the plunger down to the measurement you want. Then, when you go over to the bowl, all you do is tip it up and go and push it out. It cleans the entire thing. When you're dealing with peanut butter in a normal measuring cup, it's impossible to get everything out of it. It's sticky, sticky, sticky. Same is true for corn syrup, molasses, anything you use like that in cookies. So, if you can find one of these wonderful little push measures, I highly recommend it. Tip number two in cookie making is make your own vanilla extract. I don't know if you can see this. I'm gonna hold this up to the camera. You probably can't see it all, but see in there? There are four vanilla beans in there that I split open. I ordered the vanilla beans from Amazon, by the way. You can find some really great deals on vanilla beans. Added a little bit of vodka. Filled the bottle with vodka. You can also use grain alcohol, whatever you care to do. In some cases, some people actually use rum, but it does flavor the vanilla differently. But it could be a unique flavor for you. Let it steep for about a month or so. This has actually been steeping for several months, probably almost a year, and it is amazing. We're going to really have some great cookies this year with our own vanilla extract. You'll find、uh, a post on me making this vanilla extract on the blog. I'll put a link in the description and on the blog post for this video. Another cookie baking tip, in fact, any baking tip, is to not confuse these two devils: baking soda and baking powder. It's going to call these out clearly in any recipe you're making. And if you mix these up, your cookies will taste horrible. What I found is when my sisters, when I was growing up, mistakenly replaced baking powder with baking soda, everything tasted like a pretzel.、Uh, Not a good thing for a cake that you're trying to eat for your birthday. That's for sure. So again, make sure you're very carefully watch for the difference between baking soda and baking powder. There's a lot of science that goes into this, a lot of chemistry. It basically、uh, has to do with how much acid is in your baking recipe to make sure it leavens properly, make sure it rises properly, and that's why you'll sometimes use one, the other, or sometimes in combination, like a recipe we just did. Also, for baking powder specifically, check your expiration date. It'll always be stamped.、Uh, You know, basically, this is best if used by December 14th,、uh, 2014. So I have a year on this. 
Um, if it is old, it won't be reactive, it won't cause the reaction you're looking for, you won't get the rising, you will get flat baked items rather than nice puffy baked items. So again, pay attention to your recipes, soda, powder. Well, we got eight batches all mixed up. We mixed everything ahead of time this year. We had a bit of an assembly line going with my son Joe and my wife Roseanne and sort of knocked out all the mixing first, uh, covered everything in saran wrap, put it in the um, in the fridge to wait for us and we've got the chocolate chip batch is already done and now I'm making what we call pecan puffs they're from the joy of cooking uh, some people call them Mexican wedding cookies but I actually think Mexican wedding cookies are a slightly different recipe but these are you know pecan nut balls that you roll in powdered sugar when you're done and these are my wife's favorite so I actually have to make a double batch of these so some goes out for the party and some actually gets put in the freezer for her to nibble on the rest of the year, at least for another couple months after the party. She always complains that I never <clears throat> make cookies at other times of the year, which I really don't. Um, and with my weight loss uh, program right now, I really shouldn't be making cookies, at least not eating them. If I can make them for other people, I guess. But we're going to roll all these out. Uh, these cookies don't spread at all, so I'm going to put them pretty close together and they actually take a while to bake, so this is a good one to get in the oven and I can do some other things while they're cooking. So I hope you've enjoyed our cookie baking adventures for 2013. This is an annual thing for us. We have this party every year and have had it for I think the last, I want to say 16 or 17 years. I'd have to check my my notes, uh, which I do have from previous years. It's very fun to look back and see what I've made in the past. You can find links to previous videos about cookie baking and for our annual holiday party, recipes, uh, the cookbooks at bakespace.com, and everything else on the website and also in the description of this video on YouTube. For the website, please visit douglasewelch.com. If you scroll to the bottom, you actually see direct links to the cookbook, as well as everything else that I do, including a gardener's notebook, career opportunities, technology IQ, careers in new media, and more. Cookie baking is just one small part of my life at this part of time of year. So thanks for joining us and hope to see you on the website soon. Have the happiest of holidays, the merriest of Christmases, the best Kwanzaa, the happiest of Hanukkah, whichever holiday you might be celebrating at this time of year. Until next time, keep baking. enjoyed our cooking 